talking about GIMP and uh, we're going to learn how to edit an existing image so we're going to file open and let's take this picture uh, the first one here which happens to be a picture of a house that we were looking at buying and fixing up um, so you can see here you can see the side of my mirror and all the you know the bad stuff in the driveway and the whatnot so let's work on uh, well first this is kind of big for the screen that I have this recording on so let's uh, shrink it a little bit we're gonna go to image scale image and we're gonna scale it down from its current size of 640 by 480 we're gonna scale it down to 400 and if you just hit tab that will automatically uh, calculate what the uh, what it should be uh, 640 by 480 and if you hit 400 it'll it'll figure it out for you and then we're gonna scale you can see how that's reduced it quite a bit so now we can reduce that now we've got a little room to work with we've gotten the image the size we want it we want it 400 by 300 so we can fit it in a blog and uh, make it look nice so the first thing that we're going to do here is let's crop out that uh, mirror. So what we're going to do is go over here and grab this crop tool, which looks like a scalpel. Start at the top left and drag all the way down. You can see how it darkens what's going to be cropped away and lightens up what's going to stay in the image. So you just click and drag, and we're going to crop it right there. Just click in the middle, and it crops it. All right, so that's done. Now uh, we've got these ugly stains in the driveway, so there's a couple of ways to take care of that. Um, you could just plain paint over it or something else. Uh, but if you're going to work with something like that, especially if you're going to edit an image, uh, you're going to want to go to View and Zoom and about 4 to 1 on something like this. And now you can see all that detail. So it's zoomed in and you can work with it uh, while it's zoomed in here. Uh, so let's say we want to uh, cover up some of these stains in the driveway here. You can see how it's black over here almost and and pretty nice looking over here. So we're going to get, uh, we're going to go over here and get our uh, clone tool. You can use a healing tool if you want to kind of blend it or you can use a clone tool if you just don't care anymore. Um, you hit control click and it'll set a clone source and we'll go over here or let's take this grass out you can see that it's cloned exactly what's there it's cloned it and as you click and drag it will it will drag with you and clone everything so you'll get exactly the same thing there and we'll just drag along here whoop see I went too far to the left so apparently it found the grass over there so I need to just clone right over that. All right. When you're done with this, it might look a little funky. Then you can go get the uh, heal tool and uh, start blending things in. So if you get the heal tool, you can go ahead and start blending stuff. So you'll be able to see that I took out quite a bit of that black just by moving this around a little bit. So you should see if we go to view one to one, you can see how clean that driveway looks now, almost like it's brand new, huh? Uh, you can do the same thing with the roof or anything else, but you can see where it ended here. Um, so if you need to touch up a little photo, that's a way to do it. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to add some text to this image. We just click this A. Uh, you can click here to select your font, go down a little bit, see if we can find something. Okay, Bell Gothic Heavy. Uh, we can up the size to whatever you want it to be. Uh, we're going to make it 30 pixels. You can change your color here if you want to make it a color. Uh, let's make it red, bright red, bright red. Of course, you could just click that, but we can go find the color here exactly what we want um, well let's make it a whatever we decide anyway you can click it right there whatever you want um, hit OK it's now changed the color 
If you need to set justification for something, here's where you do that. Uh, and we're just going to click inside the image where we want it to start. We're going to put for sale right across the garage doors there. So for sale. And close that. And we're going to get our layer moving tool. Click on that layer and we can just move it around wherever we want it. So let's put it right across those doors there. And let's see, we're going to file save as and we're going to call this uh, edited.jpg. It knows the file type to save as. You could click down here and select your file type, but if you type it in, it'll figure it out. GIMP's smart like that. Click save. It saves the file. It says it can't handle transparency. Go ahead and export. Uh, ask you if you want to you know, up the quality. No, I don't really care. It's going to be kind of a small image. Nobody's going to see. 85% is fine. I could probably move it down to about 75 and still not show very much of a reduction in the image. So that's been saved. And that's it. Now we can go File and Open. And we should have a file in here called Edited. And if we open that up, here's our image uh, right there. So it's done. One of the things that I like to do uh, personally to touch up some images before I put them on to many websites or blogs or anything is go into Filters. And uh, let's drag that over so you can see it better. Go into Filters. And down here in Decor, uh, you can do some borders and sides and whatnot. Uh, there are a lot of other filters in here you should just play with, see what they do. Uh, you'll find a lot of great stuff in there. Uh, but in decor, you'll find round corners. And if you just leave it on the basic settings, it works pretty well. Uh, 15 degree radius, add the drop shadow, which gives it kind of a 3D effect. Uh, all these things are fine. Just click OK. And it'll go through the process for you. And here, you can see the difference in these pictures. And decide for yourself which one you think looks better. Uh, but I tend to go for the rounded edges. Looks a little better. Looks a little more professional. It's got the drop shadow. Kind of gives it a 3D look. Looks great in your blogs and your other things if you just round your corners. Um, so that's one way to do that. Gives it kind of a 3D uh, look. And you can just file, save as, and call it edited rounded. JPG. Click Save. It says it can't handle transparency. Go ahead and export. Leave it at 85. That's fine. And now we have these two files saved. Now we have this picture right here that's just edited. And then we have this one where it's been rounded. And that's basically how you touch up an image in GIMP. Mm -hmm.